Do you want to see a venue that has every single thing that any band has ever wanted from a venue? Incredible backline, storage racks for all our gear, ego boxes, a Behringer X32, a merch area with t-shirt gates. In all seriousness though, we are super grateful to be here. This is the Empire in Akron, Ohio. This has got to be one of the coolest stages we've ever played. Uh, just most helpful staff and everything. So yeah, now watch us just like totally screw this whole thing up by sucking. No, I'm just kidding. But yeah, so far so good. We're feeling pretty awesome. We're on second, so uh, we get to set up our drum kit and everything back here. <laughs> Also, we got pizza. We got pizza. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Could this day get any better? So uh, we did run into a little bit of a problem, uh, and that's just that we don't have quite as much room on stage as what we were thinking because we're kind of setting up some of the back line behind the band ahead of time. But it shouldn't be a problem. We're, uh, we're trying to figure it out. We're gonna rearrange the stage a little bit, so. Yeah, it's gonna be fine. What are we thinking? So I'm gonna try to take this wedge and that cab and move it as far downstage as possible. Okay. And then Rob will be there in the corner and then Camber and you like normal. Well, it's just yeah, basically bro. putting Rob off center. Two hours later. We just finished our set. We did. Literally just got off stage. That's yeah, we need some water. But I thought it went incredibly well. You rocked. Thanks. A little fist bump on camera there. Good times in the Yes, that is a horse-drawn carriage, and that's because we're in the middle of Amish country right now in northeastern Ohio. We just woke up at the place we're staying out here. Slow morning this morning. We don't have a drive tonight, so we're uh, we're just hanging out with the kids and uh, just kind of taking it slow this morning. And then we're gonna. I think we're thinking about heading out and getting some uh, some serious Amish sightseeing in. What's our day? So we're gonna go see the world's largest cuckoo clock, and then we're gonna go to Heine's Cheese House, Heine's Cheese it's Chalet. Yeah, and then Miss Yoder's Kitchen for a delicious buffet. Um, Breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner. All right, so we're standing here in downtown Sugar Creek, Ohio, and we're standing in front of the world's largest cuckoo clock. Nice. Like, Legit, like Guinness Book of World Records, world's largest cuckoo clock. And we've got about three minutes until this thing comes to life. So get pumped. <laughs> So after a long day of just like flea markets and Amish things, we finally got here to Kent. Thank God we're going first tonight. We can load directly onto the stage. Day three. This is uh, this is technically day three. We're we're not playing a show tonight. We're just driving back home. But uh, you know we're in a city with an IKEA, so we thought we'd go ahead and stop here for a minute. There's no IKEA in Nashville, so you know even though we haven't been out on the road for weeks at a time, we're just doing a couple of days here, a couple of days there. But we're going home in between. You know, it still could be pretty pretty exhausting, and I think that's the biggest thing that we kind of had to think about this week was taking time to just kind of be be people just be human when you go to a new place there might be a whole different culture you know new types of food to try conversation to be had with with the people you're hanging out with at the bar and I, I think it's important to, to, to just kind of focus on that element of just not having to be a performer all the time. Just leave that on the stage and just try and be a human being the rest of the time. So with that being said, I'm gonna go check out some furniture. So see you guys next time.